Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at another new release from Canon cameras, which is the 200D, or as it will be known in America, the Rebel SL2. Remember, if you like what you see on The Photo Show, please comment, like and subscribe in the boxes below. Let's take a look at the new Canon 200D. It's been quite a busy month for Canon. Uh, with the release of the 6D Mark II, they've also announced the release of the new 200D, or as it'll be known in America, the Rebel SL2. This replaces the original 100D, or Rebel SL1, which was released about four years ago. And it's an entry-level camera which will sit in their range just below the 1300D. Sensor-wise, the 200D now has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C size sensor, which is up from the original 18 megapixel sensor that was found on the 100D. They've also added in the latest Digitech 7 processor. Autofocus-wise, the 200D has 9 autofocus points. But what Canon have added on this camera is their very popular dual pixel AF. And what this allows the camera to do is to utilise some of the imaging pixels on the sensor to act as phase detection autofocus points, which improves the focusing system enormously. ISO range on the 200D has been improved over the previous model and now has a native ISO range from ISO 100 to ISO 40,000. This again can be expanded, but the native range is ISO 100 to ISO 40,000. The maximum shutter speed on the 200D is 1 4,000th of a second and it will shoot up to 5 frames per second, which is nothing amazing, but in a beginner's range camera, it's perfectly adequate for what most people will use it for. Body-wise, the 200D is a small, compact DSLR-style camera, but it's now available in a range of colours. You can have it in the standard black, it's available in a very funky-looking white and grey, and it's also available in a silver and tan look. I think these colour options have been available on Canon cameras in Japan in the past, but they've now expanded that out to make them available to the European and American markets. Another major addition to the 200D over the original 100D is it now has a fully articulating touchscreen which I think is going to open this camera up to another market. I think this camera could be uh, a, a coming as a, a popular vlogging camera. In the same way that the 80D is being used by high-end vloggers, the 200D is going to offer a, a much lower price option with the fully articulated screen. Storage-wise, the 200D has a single SD card slot, which is perfectly acceptable in this range of cameras. But again, as with the 6D Mark II, they've really upped the game with the connectivity. The 200D has built-in GPS, Wi-Fi, NFC and Bluetooth. So your options for using it with external devices are wide and varied. It also has a built-in microphone jack so that you can uh, add an external microphone. And again, I think the addition of the microphone jack and the external um, articulating screen could make this an ideal vlogging camera. Video-wise, the 200D will shoot at 1080p at 60 frames per second. There's no 4K on this camera, but I think a camera in this price range and this uh, entry level, you wouldn't be expecting 4K. But 1080p with the articulating screen and the options to add an external mic, like I said before, could make this an ideal camera for people who want to start vlogging and making YouTube videos. Price-wise, the 200D is going to be £579 in the, in the UK. And as I said, in the US, it will be the Rebel SL2, and it will be $549. So slight disparity. I don't, I don't know if the, the Rebel name drops the price in the US, but in the UK, it's £579. In the US, it's $549. If you're interested in pricing and pre-ordering options, I've put some links in the description below for you to have a look at. So there you go. That's our look at the Canon 200D, or as I said before, the Rebel SL2 in the US. It's released at the end of July 2017. But for now, I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.